Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? So, uh, the topic of today's little report is what do they think you think about them? So, we will do three pulses. Usually, you get to choose between this justice. Feel free to read these messages as well if you want to. So, uh, the world pile number two. World. And the moon pile number three. So just is the world or moon for pals. So let's start for those of you who chose just. What do they think you think about them? What do they think you think about them? What do they think you think? This one will be a very transparent pile. Let's see. Can you see everything? Okay. For a lot of you guys, this person thinks that you may think that they are sometimes too conservative or rigid in their belief systems, that they want to want things to be done in a certain fixed, stubborn type of way, uh, that they do not allow this space for uh, cooperation or flexibility or some type of uh, different minds and different uh, views on how things should be done. So uh, they think that, you may think that they are slightly, well, close-minded, I will have to say, uh, for some of you, because we even have tours here, and they are known to be slightly, uh, well, fixed when they uh, determine certain things about how, how they should act or how they should, you know, just be in romantic relationships and everything, so... For a lot of you, this person may think that you consider them a runner, like runner in a twin flame connection, and or you're a divine masculine for some of you, uh, or that they constantly have to be chased and validated in order to uh, flourish in a connection. So, uh, so some of them may think that you see them as hyper needy in a way that if they are not constantly validated by chasing uh, they won't be able to fully function in a relationship so um, a lot of them may think that you have gotten this impression that they like to reject if I'm going to be honest here so uh, they may think that you believe that they have that they have a lot of options but I don't know, they did get this impression that um, you think that they are somewhat dismissive when it comes to love relationships and I have to tell you they do not like it. So this pile is pretty uncomplicated and uh, as I already said, transparent one. So uh, this person would really want to basically change your mind because they feel currently that you aren't really eager to invest in this with them because you basically think with Seven of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Wands reverse, that they are wasting your time, that you are just uh, losing on your energy, that you constantly end up feeling drained with them. Uh, this person could have held back from you in the past, this is for sure. So as much as they are adamant about the things that they want in it, connection at the same time they do have some type of avoidant uh, traits here and this is what they think that you think about them as well so with cancer in the 11th house some of them may think that you think that they are preoccupied with their ambition with their goals with how much money they can take or earn uh, for some of you they may think that you think that basically I don't know, they did dismissed you chasing uh, richer partners or something like that. So there will be something about money. Uh, 
Okay, basically some of them are afraid that you think that they are, they are too obsessed with money is, as well as what I'm sensing. Because Cancer is where our, our mind or its ruler, Moon, where our mind constantly flows. So 11th house is house of gains. So some of them may think that you think that they are always uh, like looking what they can gain from the situation and not what they can give. Is what I'm also sensing. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like uh, so that it reaches more people. But with Jupiter in 8th house, I'm also sensing that they may think basically that, the, that you think the situation with them is constantly problematic, constantly terrible, and that there's always this oscillation. There's never a, a fine, harmonious line between you guys where things are just easy and fluid. So, uh, some also with this ten of wands reverse, some of them may think that you have gotten an impression that it's too difficult to be with them. So, um, it's quite interesting. How did you get stuck in this connection, pile number one? Uh, I get, I even I get frustrated reading about this person. So, with Mars in Gemini, let me just see. Okay, some of them may think, for those of you who are dealing with that, that you think that they are bisexual or, if not bisexual, that there can be like dual uh, characteristic to their nature. It is something along those lines. So, or like double faced. So, some of them are basically fretting that you think that they are double faced or... or um, that uh, basically choose which face to show in which opportunities, what I'm also sensing, so... Um, yeah, with six, Leo 6th house, I'm getting that they may think that you think that a lot of your... some type of struggles or misunderstandings, inability to achieve something more significant here stems from their huge ego... Uh, because Leo is ego, sixth house is house of arguments and dispute. So uh, let me just see. With Mercury in twelfth house, they may think that you do think that some of their opinions, some of their attitudes, especially correlated with romance and uh, relationship, may be either uh, too old-fashioned, uh, too traditional, too rigid or conservative. As I already said something along those lines about that. So, this person is afraid that you think now that you guys aren't really good for each other is what I'm also sensing. So, let me just see. With Mars in Gemini, some of them are do think that you are thinking that they are always... Well, on the go for the next uh, glittering thing or something like that. But they also may think that you see them, you see them as, well, person who is selective and picky, and uh, they do take their time in choosing uh, the best possible choice for themselves. But I have to give them uh, this one because this is the type of a person who will remain single if they haven't found. Uh, right one by their own opinion uh, they'll just remain uh, solo on their own so they aren't in a rush to commit that's for sure so some of them may think that uh, you think that they may be entertaining some other options due to not being overly present in this connection as well is what I'm sensing so uh, let me just see they also may think that you think that they are uh, too slow, too preserved in their actions, in their movements, in their way of speaking. Uh, let me see. But they, that you also see some type of, some level of health and even purity in some of them, which you dig or which you like. Uh, basically, some of you may like that they are not just the type that uh, hops from bed to bed. Uh, and that are promiscuous and just easily change their partners is what I'm also sensing. So uh, I'm getting that there's a certain level of, well, boring purity that you even appreciate about this person. 
Uh, let me know if that makes sense for somebody. Uh, yeah, but uh, they even may think that you think that you guys would be able when you reach that plateau to have a very sibling style of relationship, very comfy one. You know how Torians are uh, prone to that. Um, but they also may think that they have a way with you, with the way they speak. There's something about the way they speak uh, that really captures your attention. And this person is aware of their charms, is what I'm sensing. Yeah, but I will end it here uh, for pile number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report uh, and see you in the next one. Let's go a little bit further. So for those who chose this world, what do they think you guys think about them? What do they think you guys think about them? What do they think you think about them? What do they think you think about it? Here, for a lot of you, this person may think for some reason that you admire their profession, so they may have like renowned profession or a big level of authority there, or they are just somebody who is appreciated for what what they do in their community. So people may be like when they enter a cafe, like, hey, there's this doctor, this I don't know, surgeon, uh, this professor. So there's something very. Uh, reputable about their career and this is something that they may think that you appreciate about them let me just see so they may think that you think that uh, sometimes they tend to be slightly more on the impulsive side that they do certain acts without thinking which are your traverse uh, that there is this slight immature part of them. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of Aries vibe from this one. Although this is chariot, they should represent Cancer. But they could have strong Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising or Stellium. If you would look from Western astrology. So there's something very infantile about their behavior. Uh, and this is something that they may think the true thing. But you also perceive about them this shrewdness that this acuteness of speech of thought of uh, even behavior in certain ways um, they're capable of acting in an exact way that will bring them the exact desired results is what i'm sensing in this part so this person is very calculating they know just what to do in every situation to bring about the exact desired result is what i'm sensing so Mm. They also may think that you think about them that they are not really the type to hurt people on purpose or to uh, make somebody feel sad or you aren't really uh, too much. You may think that they aren't really uh, a too much of a heartbreaker uh, and also that they may be. They may think that they are, that you think that they are. Uh, on their steady financial part is what I'm also sensing or that they are never out of supplies is what I'm sensing here so and also that some other people may come to them for help let me see with moon in Pisces they may have this impression that you think that they are sometimes lost when it comes to their emotion and their emotional states because moon in Pisces I also have moon in Pisces so I know it very well those are the types of people and we got it um, that it's strongly uh, somehow resonating resonating with them as well 
those are the type of people they can be the most capable person professionally the most capable i don't know astrologer lawyer doctor uh, mortician i don't care uh, but in their head in their emotional sphere in their psychology they are so confused they are so confused about romance even uh, about what they want as well etc uh, etc et hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that more people get it yeah but they think um, that you may view them as unstable when it comes to their romantic preferences or romantic expression is what I'm also sensing with Mars and Taurus uh, I'm sensing for some of you that they may think that they that you may think that they may tend to be harsh in their speech so there may be something too commanding or too aggressive in their speech or in the way they relate with other people so basically for some of you this person is afraid that they came across as uh, overpowering or over domineering uh, overly intimidating when they uh, are in some type of expression with you especially and this is something that they do not want so I would even expect some type of humble gesture from them or to show you something like along the lines like hey I'm not the danger you know you can relax in my presence you yeah, I really do. It will be like an uh, apologetic gesture which will convey you can relax in my presence, uh, you will be safe. Uh, whatever we do, you don't have to be constantly on guard with me. So it's kind of interesting. It's out now in fifth house. I'm getting that you could have get gotten an, an impression that they are not overly interested in dating anybody currently. So... Um, or, or that they lack uh, just proper ways of uh, communicating when it comes to women or men that, that they want to seduce is what I'm also sensing. So with Saturn in the fourth house, some of them may think that you think that they stem like from a poor family or uh, it won't be poor for everybody, just Saturn does represent certain level of pain, of frustration, of uh, hard karmic lessons, fourth house is house of home, uh, you know, primary family, so uh, it's either you know this about them or you came uh, to a conclusion of a sort about them in this similar type of way, so let me see, with the moon in the seventh house, uh, let me just see, yeah, with moon uh, in seventh house, these people are uh, oscillating very much about what they want uh, when it comes to love. So one day they, this person may be the type who is, I want the whole deal, I want the marriage, I want the uh, traditional long-term um, situation. And the next day they will be like... Well, I could use some friends with benefits, things, uh, we don't have to be serious, we don't have to... Uh, so they are very changeable, because you have to know the moon is very changeable type of the planet. When it's anyhow related to seven house, person basically doesn't know what they want, uh, or they may change their opinion just like that. So... But with Gemini in the first house, they do think that you consider them as very knowledgeable, uh, very expert level of uh, person when it comes to, well, their chosen matters of interest is what I'm also sensing. So they may think that you think that they are eloquent, that they <coughs> have their certain way of... Um, just telling things in a way that they can easily achieve what they want with their words. They may be like smooth talker, something like that. So they may think that you think that they uh, took you for granted, things like that. That they basically acted like you are rep replaceable. And I do sense about this person that it can be something along those lines. Uh, 
they could have been complacent, act, acted like you are, well, like connection with, with uh, like connection like that one with you is easily to be found. So um, this is something that they can get lost thinking. So, well, this person doesn't think that. You, basically, for a lot of you, doesn't think that you would consider them. Uh, as a romantic interest after certain things that transpire they think that you would perhaps accept them as a friend or something along those lines so yeah but uh, I will end it here for the second pile I hope you guys enjoyed this small report if you did uh, we'll see you in the next one and let's go on with the moon for those of you who chose this moon So what we are checking today is what does your person think you think about them? What do they think you think about them? What do they think you think about them? This is also a pretty much clear one, let's see. So for a lot of you, this person thinks that you moved on from them. Uh, that you moved on from them, that, well, basically, that you could have put a very strong boundary it's either strong words exchanged or strong gesture conveying don't come near me uh, with that kind of attitude I am getting that this person was somehow um, there's an element of being violent but I'm not getting a physical item I hope it isn't the case with a lot of you uh, I'm getting more uh, of like emotional underestimating somebody and uh, violating somebody's boundaries so uh, I'm getting that this person thinks that you think that there are a lot of conflict a lot of drama uh, that you are uh, trying to avoid any type of heated circumstances in your life that you are somebody who has already had uh, your share of pain and you see perhaps circumstance, circumstances correlated with them as ones that will bring a lot of, how do I say, unnecessary uh, turmoil in your life is what I'm also sensing. So for some of them, uh, you may think that they are very strong physically, that there's something quite... Uh, that they have strong vital force inside of themselves or that they look healthy to you is what I'm also getting. There's something about looking healthy here. Uh, they may also think that you think that they're quite solitary or that they prefer living their way in a way which is quite uh, overly um, independent or overly focused on their studies, on their next big project, on their next big thing that they are learning. Um, also, they're thinking that you may think that they are very calculated, very manipulative in their approach. Uh, it doesn't have to be bad, per se, uh, just to make that clear. They also may think that you think that they didn't communicate properly with you or... Uh, that there was something in their communication which aggravated you or uh, made you frustrated with them in a way. But they see, uh, I mean, they see where you are coming from. Uh, so this is something really significant. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that more people 
rigid. And this person may think that you think like they may be preoccupied about how they look in public or with moon in 10th house, this is our emotional psychology and uh, emotional well-being are pre preoccupied about our reputation, about uh, what other people think about us, how do they consider our love choices. So this person may have gotten an impression that you think that they are... Well, such type of a person who will base a lot of their decision and choices on what other people think, think about them. And they also may think that you think that they like to look, uh, how do I say it, decent in the eyes of public is what I'm also sensing. But they may think that you appreciate their fancy side or that you may think that they are kind of eye candy this is something that I do dig about them. Let me see. They may think uh, that you think that they are good in crisis as well. So um, they may think that you have gotten that this impression that basically you can get with this person only if you chase them. Which there is something to that uh, about this per person and pile. I do feel like they like to be chased. This person likes to feel validated through other people running after them, uh, longing for them and trying to woo them. Uh, so this is something interesting. Um, let me just see. I'm getting that some of them may think that Basically, like you think, like do they have too much of a bar garbage to them, so that something is not, um, well, it's not proper with their psychology, with the way um, they act, so um, basically they may think that you think that they should still work on themselves, is what I'm sensing, so... Some of them may think that you cut them off or something along those lines because you got uh, into this conclusion that there may be too much of a competition around them. This is especially for those of you who are in third parties or uh, some of you were fed up and sick uh, with them having another partner or just having another suitor. So. Well, don't be mad at me, but I'm getting for a lot of them uh, from this file. Basically, it's enough for somebody to wink and them, and there they go. Uh, they're going with the new cookie or something like that. This will not be for all of them, but uh, this vibe is strong in this presence. So this person likes getting attention. So that's the reason why... But of course, I will say this is just for a portion of you, it won't be for everybody. So, but they may think that you find them beautiful, attractive, that they are your type. Uh, that uh, they are uh, overcoming certain things in their life and uh, that they just solved some of the big issues that were bothering them or that were kind of an obstacle on the path is what I'm also sensing that they may think. So for some of you, they may think that you got into this impression that they well, kind of like to ghost or detach from people and that you don't like this quality. I mean, who would like it? Let's be real. So... With Mercury and Capricorn, some of them may think that they appear too formal or too, how do I say it, authoritative in a way uh, when you guys should be, should have worked on something. So for some of you, this there was a certain event where this person thinks that they appeared overly uh formal and professional wise in their communication toward you and they may think that this is something that you were like what the heck uh, about so but I'm getting that there is certain chemistry about your communication with this person certain elegance about the way you guys flirted 
So they may be thinking that they are your types about the way they are flirted to you and something along those lines. So I am getting that there was something compatible, either your love languages are the same or something of that nature. Yeah, but I will end it here uh, for third pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report and thank you for listening.